Hello guys, welcome to Starpro Tutorials. In this session, we will be discussing about isolated footing. I will be taking an example of previously designed building. Once we are done with the modeling and post processing, we go to foundation design. There, we select first all the load cases. We include all of them in the foundation design. Then, select run start foundation. You can see the foundation has been provided and the loads movements are acting on it. Now we will go to job setup. But before that we need to create load combinations in order to design the footing. Since direct loads cannot be applied, we need to create a load combination in real life. What we will do is we will generate load combination. We'll select Indian code. Generate load combination. Send it generate load combination. We'll create generate load combinations for both service and ultimate loads. Then now we can go to job setup. Create a new job. Name it up ISO related. Whatever name you want, the job type should be isolated since we are providing isolated footings. The code should be Indian code since we are designing as for Indian code and units or SI units and supports have to be assigned to all the supports, all the footings. We just need to include the load combinations. Now we select create job. Then you close this window. Here you can see isolated putting job is been created. Select design parameters. You can see concrete and rebar. Here you need to provide information regarding concrete and the steel. Unit rate of concrete is 25 kN per meter cube. You can change it if it is different. All the parameters can be changed if it is different. Similarly, coming to cover and soil, the cover is provided is 50 mm. The it is drain condition. Then going to footing and geometry, we select uniform thickness and calculate that we provide. We say that to calculate dimensions for the computer, in which. Uh, the software calculates the dimension of the footing. If we select set dimension, we need to provide these dimensions. And if we select fixed width, we select fixed width, we can change it. But if we select fixed length, we fix the length of it. But we will select calculate dimensions since we need the software to calculate the dimensions of our footing. We can even go by guess by selecting set dimensions. Can just change it. Now you can select set dimension. You can see. Then going to sliding and overturning, you have this information. If it is different, you can just type it down. Now final step is design. Select yes. Close this window. You can see the design of all the footings. Select even footing, the figure has been provided, the rebar, and this is the column. When the calculations are done, you can see the schedule drawing, detailed drawing, doubles are being provided, elevation, then you can go to calculation sheet to see the calculations the procedure it is doing the calculation in this way uh, we design isolated footing however in order to use the output you can go to select output so you can use the output here the 
settings numbers and the length and width thickness of the footings the reinforcement provided we don't have pedestal reinforcement in this way design of isolated footing is carried out in the next video we will go through another type of footing thank you